the book. Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Shaky Hand Shit. And this week we're going to be doing one I've wanted ever since I was a teenager. My mate got the mighty Mallard train set and I was proper jealous. I loved that train set, I never had an A4 and it was a really gorgeous set. And he never did anything with it. I think it probably got tipped. Anyway, here we go. This is one. I bought it from eBay. I think it was about £30. And what a lot you... Some may have spotted. Why it were have sold as a non-runner. I definitely did. I spotted it on the box. Some may have built their ropes up, but didn't risk buying it which was a good job really if they didn't risk it because it's an old thing and you'll be seeing it in a bit but it ended up making it cheap enough as a non-runner and an older model anyway here we go that's the box I spotted that on eBay but more importantly I spotted that module number one and my brain said well they know them as a DCC now and it's not a chip trying to think what it's called now but it's certainly not a module so all that can mean is that's a zero one chip a Hornby system zero one one of the old chips and it was definitely a non-runner with it in it also had another fault the motor had been pushed up into the tender somebody had put put weight on it anyway cut the chip off cut the chip off and rewire it how it should be for DC if I decide to do my layout DCC, I've probably put a sound chip in it. But, that zero one. Unless anybody wants it, it's no use or an ornament to me. Anyway, here we are. Start giving the motor a service. Whipped it out, check its turns, turning nicely. And it looks very clean and so I'll put some juice to it. And there we go. Yay! Turning gorgeous. We can improve it just a little bit. Just a little, 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 little bit. And going beautifully and dear I'm doing a bit of lubing while it's on the run just put a whiz of oil on it so we have an oiling pen not too much I'll probably get some silicone grease or whatever it is for um, in preference but it'll do for now it'll get around that little bit I've put on it it'll gradually get around everything when it's rubbed anyway time to strip the motor down tipping the actual carbon brushes out And lifting the face plates off. Mm. 
and <coughs> what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be cleaning the commutator first. It's a little bit dirty, it can do with a bit more, and I've got very, very fine sandpaper there. It's very, very fine. Do not use rough, as you'll put gouges in it, very deep gouges. It, in preference, you could use very fine wet and dry, but this one I've used and used and used as sandpaper. And it's got virtually no grain left on it. But I've used it with solver water so polish. And while you're doing it, you can feel it. It's actually taking rough edges off it so your mortar will run smoother. And there I'm just polishing up with a Q-tip. <coughs> Some solver water. Oh, excuse me. I've got the lurgy. Some salver water sol on a Q tip and polish the commutator up and then just give it a quick wipe with cloth. Just making sure there's nothing on the gaps in between as well. You can clean it out with a cocktail stick but I'm not really bothered. And here the holes where your carbon brushes go in, clean the carbon out from inside them. I take the biggest percentage of the cotton off the cotton bud and it just fits in nicely. I've put a little bit of oil on the shaft for when it goes back in. Oh matron! Looks like a face doesn't it there? the commutator. I've put a bit of mess in my hand and I'm cleaning the brushes in palm of my hand and at this point I'm dropping them back in. I did well on this one I normally drop them everywhere. Springs haven't bounced everywhere this time either. Springs have gone in well. And there we are down and giving another test run for work so far. It's running that little bit smoother. And going good. And there we are putting a bit of oil on the axles. And here what I'm doing, I'm just cleaning up the wheels for better contact. The front ones weren't too bad on the actual low coat. Traction tyres aren't bad. Because it guess I've got a I've actually got the list with this one. And I didn't check how old it is, but I think the actual this Mallard R three fifty I think were introduced around 1983, 84 possibly. Somewhere around, may have been even earlier. May have been about 82. But it was certainly an early 80s introduction. May have been late 70s. And here, I'm re-soldering the wire together. I could have put a replacement wire on, but I may do that when I actually, or if I actually DCC fit it. But in the meantime, this weren't a bad option. I could have made it. I actually undo it and make it a bit tidier, because it's a bit straggly there. And I couldn't get me a shrink wrap over it, so... I actually redid it and tidied it. You'll see it in the next one when I shrink wrap it, it's tidier. And there we go, it's tidy and now shrink wraps on. Just run the... Run the soldering iron over it to shrink it on.
leave bits of solder behind. Why wouldn't you? Anyway, that's looking better. I'm on the way testing again. Put it to the tender. And the other one to the live on the motor. And there we go. Beautiful. A uh, goddamn good runner. The hell it is, little lady. It is. It is. It's running lovely. It's as smooth as an angel's codpiece. Girl, running beautiful. Don't get much better than that. And another test, giving another test. One sits back together. That's not really a good test because I'm only testing the tender. So I'll put it to the low core wheels. And it's on one of the low core wheels there. Beautiful. Lovely jubbly. The world's your lobster, Rodney. And there we go, I'll put it on another low core there, it's just out of job. I'll put it on another one of the low core wheels. Check I'm getting good contact through all the wheels. And at this point, I've decided to, uh, the low core chassis were pretty clean. I can't see any evidence. If it's got a zero or one chip, I think it's spent most of its life on a good layout. So, oh, when it were run, it were on a layout. And it's clean, it's no evidence of being run on carpets or dirty. In fact, it's not a great deal of looking to have been run that much so I've just given it a decent oiling and runs nice and smooth and there we go we put in the body back on it has two lugs that go on the back they locate at the front of the foot plate. And here we come, coming round smooth running. With some Play Story coaches on. And there we go, coming round again. We'll increase speed in a bit. Anyways. For all them that have subscribed to me, may I thank you, thank you very much. It's fantastic having you along and you help the channel no end. And for all those that aren't subscribing, come on, get that button pressed. It's free, now don't charge. And even better if you bring the bell icon, so it gives you notification when my next video's up. And just as good as that, thumbs up. It's nice having a thumbs up and recognition. If you don't want to 
If you don't want to subscribe, give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed the video. Anyway, have a go backwards. It runs, runs as smooth and lovely in reverse. And there we are, building up speed in reverse. Anyway, thanks for watching, and Satsi Pai, everybody!